specialize in beverage equipment and pretty much anything that goes behind the bar. I'd like to show you a few of the things that we do today. Hi, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our ring systems. At Bar Solutions, we typically use one of three ring systems. We have the 704, the 1504. These are very similar. The difference is one has seven price levels and the other has 15 price levels. We also have the All ID, which differentiates a bottle of Jack from a bottle of Gem, from a bottle of Jose, from a bottle of Rum. It'll give you the exact name of said liquor. I'm going to show you today the 704 and how the difference between an ounce and a half and an ounce and a quarter can make a big difference on your bottom line. First thing I want to show you is this lid right here. This little ring right up here determines what price level it is. This is up at the very top. It's a level one. To secure the bottle, we use a sticker. This makes sure that nobody's taking that lid off when you're not looking. Simple process. That's secure. Nothing's getting in or out of that bottle. I'm going to demonstrate for you an ounce and a half pour, an ounce and a quarter pour, and an ounce and a quarter pour. And I'm going to show you how a quarter of an ounce can make a difference to your bottom line. That's an ounce and a half. That's an ounce and a quarter. That's an ounce and a quarter. Can you see the difference? Let's talk a little bit about your bottom line. If you want your bartenders pouring an ounce and a quarter, and they're actually pouring an ounce and a half, you're only getting 22 drinks out of a bottle, as opposed to the 27. That's a five drink difference. 25% of your liquor can go out the door at a quarter of an ounce per before. In reality, if you're spending $2,000 a week on liquor, this product can help you spend $1,500 and you're actually getting all the money and accountability for the drinks that are poured. $500 a week in savings could add up to $26,000 a year. That's pretty substantial, and that's not including the forgotten drinks. The drinks that maybe didn't go on a tab, or just the bartender got too busy and forgot to ring it up. At least with this system, there's some accountability, and bartenders become better bartenders. Nothing goes out without the bar owner knowing and nothing goes in. That means no more pesky bar flies getting in the bottle. It wasn't necessarily designed for this, but it's definitely a perk of having the Berg system. Now, when, I know when I originally showed you the 704, we had it kind of on top of the bar here. But just to show you, normally most bar owners mount it just, just under the bar right here, so it's easy, accessible, and out of the way at the same time. Talked about accountability. Question? How do you get the information? How, how, how do you hold the bartender's accountability? How do you get the reports? It's a pretty easy process, actually. What you're going to do, and I always like to remember R equals reports, is you're going to push the R button and turn the key at the same time. Now on your screen, it's going to say choose report. You want a Z or you want your last Z? Your last Z is maybe you've lost a report, you can come back to the system and get the, the last Z that you reprinted out. We're going to go for the current Z. So we're going to hit that. It gives you the option to view or to print. We're going to print it. This shows you all the price levels that were poured, what quantity, we program pricing into it, so it'll tell you the monetary value of the shots poured as well. Now what happens, say, I accidentally lost that report. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to last Z report, and I'm going to print it again. Because once I Z'd it out, it sent that report over to last Z report. So you can always get your last Z report back. There are many bars that have chosen to interface. That's another good thing about this system. We can interface it with the register so that every drink poured automatically rings. So when we talk about accountability, as a bar owner or manager, 
coming in and knowing that there's accountability for every drink poured, that everything that went across your bar, you have record of. It's a nice sense of security. It's, it's not living at your bar. The first thing I'd like to show you is our modular bar. I'll let Mark explain how it works. So what makes Bar Solutions different than any other suppliers out there is we care about your business. We, any company can come out there and just sell you bar equipment, get it sold, get it installed, and walk away. We don't think like that at Bar Solutions. We not only want to sell you your bar equipment, we want to sell you other things to go with you that makes you a whole lot more profitable. So today, we're going to take the time to show you the bars, but we're also going to show you things that will save you a lot of money. We're going to do it as, as four different components, and so we're going to show it to you that way. So we're beginning with the bar, we're going to show you what we call our modular bar. So what's different about us versus most people is most people come out, put a wooden bar die, put a left, little FRP on the other side, put a bunch of equipment that's got legs on it, and then all your soda lines, all your electrical lines, all your beer lines, everything's going to be mounted to the inside wall of the bar, and all that's going to do is collect dust and dirt and grime, and five years down the road, hell, you're looking at your bar and you're getting disgusting yourself and you need to build another one. With us, we try like to do modular. What that means is, once you've got your blueprints, we, we will lay out your floor plan and we'll design a bar with your approval. And we, it, this will be built at our manufacturer. It comes in, it gets dropped to the floor, we shoot it to the floor, and then everything that could cause dirt and grime will be put in your dive walls. Your soda lines, your beer lines, your liquor lines, the hot and cold water and all your drain lines. And if you do have a problem or leak or anything like that, instead of having to move and take all the apartment, all the equipment apart, all you gotta do is come out here, as we've done, take off a panel and fix your problem from behind the bar. Now let's walk to the other side and show what's so nice about the other side of the bar. So when we chose this bar because this bar has just about everything we do all in one location. The other thing I like to highlight on this bar is this bar was done right after a hurricane in 2004, so I'm going to say we were complete, completed with it in 2005 and they started using it. So this bar is almost 14 years old, and once we start taking some pictures of the equipment, you're going to say that the modular bar, how new it looking, it stays for a long period of time. So what makes the modular bar so good is that it's, a, it, it's designed by us and you, our customer, on how you want it laid out, where you want your ice wells, where you want your sinks where you want your dishwashers, where, where you want your coolers. Everything's done where you want it. But the great part is that this bar is 100% stainless and it's easy, very easy to keep clean. So from on the bar top down, it's 100% stainless to the equipment. The, the equipment is actually mounted to this wall, and then it comes over and underneath you have 100% stainless going across. So nothing gets underneath these bars. No bottle caps, no syrup, anything. I mean, it's virtually they wipe it down with a damp cloth every night and they're done. And that's why this bar looks so good. Now the design is anything you want. We've done octagons, we've done circles, we've done any bar you want. So anything can be laid out. But, you know, it's a little bit more. Now the nice, the nice thing is, it's the most important thing is, it's maintenance free. So, so after a couple of years, same bar, same bar we've been in. They got really, really busy. They needed some more refrigerated storage space. So we, sold, so we sold them a self-contained walk-in cooler and we just put it in the storage room. So all we did is we sold, sold, sold them a little cooler, put our beer system inside of it. It's all self-contained. The refrigeration unit for the walk-in cooler is right here. It ties in, the fans come right off the wall. We tied it to the drain, which went right to the bar. Very simple, very easy. Didn't have to bring in a lot of refrigeration people, plumbing, plumbers or anything. Very simple. So, now we got the cooler, we got ice cold beer, and we went to our remote, new remote draft beer system. Which is, this is what we call our power pack. This, this is the heart of the draft beer system. Up in the top is a glycol bag. Glycol is like it, it's a food grade antifreeze, basically. And it circulates through the beer line. So it leaves here, goes out to the beer line, goes all the way out to the heads, and it comes back, dumps in the bass, and chills itself back down. We've discussed the remote draft beer system, which is a delivery system of the draft beer from the back room to the front. Now what I'd like to take the time to talk about is Berg's Tap 2. Now this is very important because this is where you're going to save money. 
Sure, you can pour beer all day long, but this is going to pour your beer for you. It's going to pour it accurately, and it's going to tell you what was poured every day and how much money should be in your register. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool piece of equipment. So you got four different sizes, and so on this one we got our we got our we got our glass programmed in. It pours the glass. I'm not pulling a handle. I'm not doing anything. It's pouring all by itself, and it stops. Now with this glass of beer, it's a 16 ounce glass, and we have it poured to pour 14 and a half ounces with the head, and it pours in perfect beer every time. You can also do the same thing with a pitcher. We got a pitcher programmed in. It's going to take a little bit longer. We're going to waste a little bit more beer. The nice thing is, at the end of the night, you're going to know what was poured and what was rung up, and it should balance at the end of the night. So, there you go. No waste, no nothing. Now, you know, when you don't have a system like this, you know what happens. Your bartenders come up, they open up the handle, two, three ounce drop out, then they decide to put the glass on there because they think it's going to stop the foaming. But if you have a good delivery system like we have here, it's going to pour a perfect draft every time. So right now, you're going to have a report that says you sold one 16 ounce and one pitcher. It's the perfect inventory system. Now we took something that was all liquid that you couldn't count before, couldn't weigh, couldn't do anything, and now you know what you're getting every day. It really gives you peace of mind. So once again, we're, st we're still at the same location, and now this owner is taking one step farther. Not only is he controlling his draft beer, but he wants to control his liquor as well. So at the same time, we've installed the Berg DN Laser Infinity System, which will give him portion control on every one of his liquors, and the same thing as the draft beer, it's going to give him accurate counts on what was poured and how much money should be in the register. And you show him that we can get the same pour every time. So she's pouring three different liquors. And every one of them poured. She didn't, if you notice, we're just going to do this for the fun of it. Angie, one more time on the, on the third glass. Just, just, hold, just show that you don't hold your finger down. You just tap it and let go and it pours the same shot every time. Now what's really cool is about this is we can program cocktails in. So now she's going to pour a Long Island iced tea. She goes into cocktail mode. V. And you get a Long Island iced tea that fast. So at nighttime when they're in a very high volume situation, the bartender just has to add coke. Everything else went in. We look for details that we can help you be a lot more efficient. So the owner of the business wanted glass door coolers rather than reaching bottle coolers. But we know reaching the glass door coolers don't hold near the volume that reach-ins hold, so we knew we'd be filling these coolers a lot because this is a very high volume bar. So there's also a walk-in cooler in the far back room, and we knew that every time we ran a hand truck out here and customers, we'd be getting the bartenders away trying to fill the coolers and we'd be putting hot beer on top of cold beer. So we just figured out one little detail. It's just something that we thought about that makes life easier on our customers. What we did is we took, we knew the walking cooler was here, which is about eight foot away from where we needed to fill the cooler. So all we did is we had a partition wall here, and we just went in here, framed up the wall. We ordered pass-through coolers. We ordered pass-through coolers. And now when they need to fill it, they just take stuff out of the walking cooler, come here and fill it from the back, to so automatically rotate the product, and everything works a lot smoother. But those are little details that we try to work with customers and get done. Sure, this was minimal, cost a little bit of extra, but you know what it's cost in labor in 15 years? It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, we have saved so much money and so much time just since the system's been put in. Uh, it cuts down on lines at the bar because we have 16 different liquors on the bar guns. Uh, we basically have four bars on each wall here, and that's the eight bars that are open year round. Uh, but it, it just it saves money and saves time, of course, the exact amount. When you talk about speed, um, how are you liking that cocktail night where you can pour a Long Island one button? Oh my God, the bartenders love it. it, it it's, it's so simple without grabbing all the different bottles, you know, and it's uh, it's. It, it, it makes everything high speed, quicker, and uh, more efficient. We love it. It's
it's had uh, a couple of things. One, it's had a, a huge impact on our cost of goods sold in terms of our poor costs. Okay. Um, it's definitely been positive there. We picked up three or four points um, in cost of goods sold. Um, it's helped our bartenders pour drinks faster. So when we're really busy and um, we have a lot of customers in line, um, it's been awesome because they can pour so much quicker than they used to be able to. So in the beginning, the bartenders were like, oh, I can't believe we did this. And I'm telling you, within two to four weeks, every bartender was on board. They were making more in tips. The bar was bringing drinks faster in, so that was great. Uh, we love you guys, man. Right. You guys have been awesome. You guys are, are always willing to help out, you know, whether that's putting in a new beer system and taking a look at like what the cost of that will be or this liquor room here or the maintenance of the system um, or even like during our peak events like when we do Molotovs, you guys always have somebody out here and it's been great. And the system itself, I mean the Berg system is great, I mean, you know, we've had it since 2012, uh, maybe we put it in 2012 or 2013 and I mean, the amount of problems that we've had has been negligible relative to the amount of liquid that we've poured through the system. So it's definitely a good system. I would recommend it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.